morning. This is Mr. William, West Virginia. It is June the 4th, and I've got a word. And the word this morning is word. All right? In, Saint, in, the, in the Gospel of St. John, it says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. If you drop down a little bit further, it says, And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of only the begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Why was Jesus referred to as the Word? I'm going to tell you why, I, I believe, okay? And this is just something I just God just dropped in my spirit this morning. He was called the Word because he knew that he had to be the Word because of so many other words that were going to be thrown at you. How many of you have had words thrown at you that it starts... As a little child, it starts as soon as you begin school. Uh, people start picking on you. For me, I was I was called four eyes. Uh, uh, there were other words that were thrown at me. And for for people of color, we've got this one word that we you know that none of us like. And and the truth of the matter is that when I was when I was younger, certain words hurt me because I didn't know about the word. Uh, I was in a, a body of believers when I was a child, and we, we quoted the scripture, may the words of my mouth and the meditation, let, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. As I began to get into the word and learn what God says about me, people couldn't attach a word to me. I had a coach when I was younger that said that I would never amount to anything. It couldn't stick to me. And, and, and in, in essence, I think what he was trying to say or trying to do was put me down and make me look bad. But the truth of the matter is that just pushed me forward. And as I got into Christ, you know, any situation that I got into, you know, when you're in multiple relationships, there's words that are thrown at you. There are things that people say about you. There are things that people think about you and say about you. And if you let those words stick to you, it can devastate you. And I've been devastated. And I've been hurt by words. And some of you have been hurt by words. And I want to tell you something. You know, we in our society have taken words and used them so incorrectly it's not funny. And that's why God came as the word. Because he wants to push away all those words that people have spoken to you that have caused you to feel smaller than them or less than them or not as good as them. Uh... I want to tell some of you women, you know, when you allow a guy to call you uh, a name that was referred to, that w actually wasn't created to, to refer to a female dog, when you allow a man to call you that, that's disrespectful, and you need to straighten them out. And some of you women that call men, uh, you know, all kinds of different things. And some of you people that have called your children kids. I don't know if you understand. We did a study of this in our in our in our body of believers, and, and the word "kid" uh, is almost kind of a curse because it's associated. It's 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 a female. It's not a female. It's a baby goat. Goats have always been associated with with the demonic, with with the satanic. It's not a good thing to call your child a kid. Nowhere. Other than in our society, do we take words and change them around and place them on people and, and, and for some reason think it's okay? And, and I'm not just talking about words. You know what? The medical field has taken a word and completely devastated so many people's lives. That word is cancer. As soon as people hear that word, they think they're going to die. You know what? My scriptures tell me that everything under heaven and earth must submit to the name of Jesus. So cancer is not a word that I'm afraid of. I've had people who have been healed from cancer. There are, there are all kinds of diseases, and this, a, a disease is simply something that takes away the ease in your life. Disease. It's something that takes the ease away. And so when, when a doctor or, or, or a medical professional gives you a diagnosis of something, you know what? I'll suggest something to you. Suggest it because I've seen it work, and I've seen it. I've seen it work twice now in people's lives that ha had cancer. When, when 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 a medical professional comes to you and tells you that you have a cancer and gives you the name of it, you call it nothing. Because death and life is in the power of the tongue. Someone might speak it to you, but you can speak it differently. You call it nothing, and it it it'll, it'll become what you call it. We have given life 
to so many things. So many of you out there think you're OCD. Who told you you were OCD? My, my Bible tells me that I am more than a conqueror. My Bible has, has instructed me to believe that I'm a, a mighty man of God. That I'm, a, that I'm the head and not the tail. That, I, that, that I'm blessed going in and coming out. So who told you that you're going to have a bad day? Who told you it's going to be a long day? Who told you that it's, it's just Mondays are the worst days ever? We create things in our minds and we live it out and we follow the words. So we got to go back to scripture where I talked about not following the rudiments of this world, not following the, tra the traditions of this world. So many of you are following the wrong thing. When Jesus said to many of his followers and he said it to me and he says it, saying it to you, follow me. I don't see anywhere in scripture where Jesus had cancer, where Jesus was afraid, where Jesus was, was uh, let someone put a word on him. Matter of fact, they tried to put words on him and he just, you know, at times he was completely silent, didn't even respond to them because he was the word. They couldn't put any words on him. He was the word. I want to just encourage you this morning. Don't let anybody put a word on you that isn't you. And, and you know what? Don't put any words on any other people, okay? We should speak peace. We should speak love. We shouldn't curse one another with the words that God has given us. Think carefully before you speak today, people. The word is what you want to get into. The word is what you want to place within you. Uh, my pastor said something so brilliant Sunday. She said, what we, what, what we entertain ourselves with enters us. So whatever, you know, and it's not just what, what entertains us as far as what we're watching, but it's what people say to us, what people speak to us. They can enter into us and they can influence us. Allow the word of God to enter your spirit and lead and guide you into truth. All right? Went a little, went a little over my time, but um, hey, have a great day. And remember, I love you. That's why I get up this early every day and do three videos a day and, and try and minister to you because I love you. But that love comes from the fact that God loves you even more. He loves me and he caused me to do this for you. All right. So have a great Monday. Have a great Monday. Because Jesus, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. All right. Hey, shalom.